So I just bought a brand new 1982 still in the box Honda motorcycle and I plan on riding it back 320 miles home to the mediocre state of Pennsylvania. While unboxing this artifact we learned that it was not as mint as we were expecting but we were still able to get it to fire up and run for the first time in first 40 time years. In 40 years! The problem was neither of the brakes were salvageable and we were getting kicked out of the dealership because they were closing. But like he does often, God opened up some unexpected doors for us. And all that has brought us to this place. This is RK Motorsports, and it's a new motorcycle shop in upstate New York, and they've got a lot of extra motorcycle parts hanging around. It's possible that you recognize RK Motorsports. I'll explain more about how you might recognize them a little bit later. Hopefully they can help us get the Ascot to stop. But even if we can get the brakes to work, we're still not out of the woods yet. We still have to confirm that the transmission works after sitting for the past 40 years. Craig has no idea that we got something very special for him in the trailer. I did tell him to bring his riding stuff. So I'm not allowed to see what's in the, in the trailer. Which would explain why it was locked and zip tied shut this morning when I tried to put stuff in it. Ah. Who's hiding in there? I don't know. You might shut that door. We're gonna pull this master off, we're gonna put that master on, <clears throat> and then hopefully we can just bleed it out and uh, we'll have brakes. It's gonna be tricky. That's mass. Let's bleed these brakes. Let's do it. It's not doing anything. Monkeys. Maybe there's monkeys in the truck. Do, do the handlebars turn? Well, we don't need to turn. No. Look, either you want to stop or you want to turn. Now, you can't have both. All right, I'll, we'll, we'll stop. All right, now, here, hold this. Don't let that go empty. Dan, we got a problem. We need new tires. This one's got a big old fat leak in it. We planned for this, and we have new tires. Let's go throw them on. I'm just happy I'm not working in the parking lot. Yep, might as well. Because it's going to be a whole lot easier to do it here than on the road tomorrow. Through some strange and mysterious events, we end up at RK Motorsports in, where are we? Uh, right in Ranceville, New York. About okay. 15 minutes from Niagara Falls. Okay, and this, and this is Rob. He's the guy from Market. You may have seen some of his videos. Some of his videos have blown up of him um, doing restorations and taking wrecked bikes and making them look awesome. And now he's helping us out with, uh, with our thing. So we got the, uh, you hooked us up with the brakes. Yep. A uh, whole new brake lever, whole new, um, what that come up on, R6? Uh, that was from a CBR 954 or 920. CBR, okay, so an old CBR. And then uh, some, some uh, race, still braided uh, brake lens that worked. And then uh, you're helping us up with these tires. Awesome. Go, go check out his channel. But ben, are you cameraing? Just put a hand on this bike. I don't know what's going to happen when I pull this wheel off. Uh, put a hand on the bike? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to try to go front or back or nothing. Yeah, Show me how to do it. You're the professional. Damn, we need to come up with a project where we just get to mess around and, and let Sean work. <laughs> nope. There we go. Now I'm good. Oh yeah. 
so like Craig loves wrenching on bikes. Sometimes when he gets in the zone, I just want to. I just like to stay out of his way. It's, it's better if I. Like, it's better if I. It's, it's better if I don't. You know, what I mean, don't get in his way. But he really loves it. Like it's, it's his passion. It's his passion in life just to be wrenching on stuff. You know what I mean? Let him. Let him fly. Fly, little bird. Fly, Craig. And I, I've never seen a regular ascot, but this is the FT flat ascot, so there's, diff there's differences. And we think one of the differences is this little, uh, this little brake rotor cover that's going to scrape off the dirt that gets on the brake when you're dirt tracking, getting sideways, doing awesome stuff. Does this only have one, uh, one disc on the front because it's yes. a flat track? Yes. And these bolts would have been for another disc for the regular non-flat track version? Yes. That's what we thought. Because when you're flat tracking, you don't need front brakes. This wasn't just like FT flat track in the name. This was actually made the flat track. And that's why I love it. And that's why we love it. Tap, tap, tap. I always say I'll never be a Formula One mechanic, but I can get you out of the woods. Do you want to, Sean, do you want mirrors? Uh, yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, well, you're going to get one. These go in here. Do they? No, manuals. Manuals. Is it gonna run? Let's uh, let's try to run it. This is my favorite part. The brakes work. It just fires right up, man. This is amazing. It goes in the gear. That's brand new. Oh, hey, gas on. Oh, Craig turned the gas off. He's trying to sabotage me, Craig. That's because it leaks. Dude, that looks so good. It's pretty cool looking, yeah. isn't it? It's a little bit sticky because it's sat for 40 years. It's a little, it needs a, re, it needs like a couple miles, but it's feeling great. And tomorrow, we're gonna try to ride this thing home. Six hours, 350 miles, back to Pennsylvania. But the big question is, what's inside that trailer that Craig's gonna be riding? And to make things more exciting, I brought a mystery bike that Craig has no idea about that he's gonna ride with me. Craig is gonna love this bike so much. We spent years and years the nice part about all this is I didn't have to load or unload any bikes so far this trip. I wasn't allowed in the trailer. You ready, Craig? I'm ready. With the bike. Yeah. You asking me? Did you forget it? Dan. What? Where's the bike? No, no, we're not. We actually. It's over there. <laughs> It's behind that F-150. Oh my gosh. Craig, you're gonna be so pumped. I am pumped. I'm you're gonna be pumped. like, this is the best. And you know the bike can at least make it from the van to the F-150. Oh, you rode it? You didn't push it? No, I pushed it. <laughs> Coolest motorcycle you've ever seen, ever. And the best thing about it is, it has not run in like five months and um, it still doesn't. It still doesn't run. <laughs> it is a cool bike, and it matches. It does. That, that's why we brought it. <laughs> yeah, it, absolutely. Even though this is a 2000, they, they designed this bike. This bike came out in like 1986 or 1984, and probably the same guy that designed this designed that other 80s bike. There's a master cylinder we need. <laughs> oh, maybe. It's the same color. It's same awesome. It's, it's pure 80s. 
Oh, well, that was on. Does it not run? The, the battery's dead. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. The last time we tried to run, it didn't run, though. I've been waiting for, I've been, I've been bugging Craig to get that thing running. <laughs> and this is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> now he's gotta get it running. <laughs> now he's gotta get it running. He's been too busy working on other projects. Now he's gotta get it running because got, he's gotta drive it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was plugged into a tender. I put a tender and stuff oh, on yeah, it. Oh yeah, I unplugged that. Uh -oh. <laughs> Not trying to make your life too easy, Craig. Apparently. And good news, the jump box is dead. <laughs> now I'm kidding. Because you're a scooter man now. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Oh, right there's the battery. Easy peasy. We got you your patch. <laughs> oh, nice. No, oh, this is going to be perfect. Every scooter man's got to wear their thing. That's right. Scooter man and garbage man. Sorry, trash collection specialists. Oh, man. Shouldn't have had the onion rings last night. These are cool bikes. Yeah, these are fun. The other one, like the silver wings and stuff, like they're a ton of fun. Those things, the Bergmans. They're so fast. Yeah, they are. Hey! <laughs> Purrs like a kitten. Absolutely. I don't know what that thing oh, is. Ah, shoot. Well, I thought I'd just let it run. Maybe it needs to be on the center stand. Oh, yeah, try that. There, we'll just let it charge up and clean out. And burn out. There's one thing this thing needs, actually. Oh, man, it comes with a scooter purse. Ooh, so far, so good. Just don't ever turn it off. Right. I'm just going to sit right on the battery for the ride home. You don't need to see where we're going. I can't believe with all this Honda engineering, they build, they engineer this whole bike and everything's all nice and perfect. And then this is how they keep the seat on, right? Yep. This doesn't make any sense. Let's see if my bike fires up. All right, so me and Craig have our awesome 80s bikes. We got to do our journey. The first thing we got to do is go get some gas at the gas station. Let's suit up, Craig. Let's do it. All right, so we rode about from here to there. Uh, we've already broke the law multiple times. I'll show you what happened, but my front tire is vibrating something fierce. We also need gas. There, there's two issues. One, these bolts are hand tight. And these are the, actually, these are the only brakes I have, so Craig's gonna go fix that. <laughs> classic, classic Craig. Craig's gonna go fix that. Um, this is part of how we kind of rigged it because the brake lines were just filled with stuff. If you didn't see the last video, go check it out. Um, we'll tighten them up and then gas it up. And let me, tell, let me show you what the other thing we were doing illegal is. We gotta tighten parts. Never leave home without these. Let's get these mounted up. The best thing about this, I don't have to reset my, uh, my, my, my tripometer because it's already, my odometer's at zero. Pro tip, my thing was on reserve always switch it back to on or leave it on reserve because it's only fun to run out of gas once this one has a little arrow pointing up so you know normally sometimes you think it's this but the arrow is pointing up so i'm gonna go with that wow remember when motorcycling used to be affordable 30 bucks thanks brandon boy i thought that would have started i would have brought another battery that's all right this will make it fun yeah, or maybe it'll just charge as we ride it. Put the seat screw in my pocket so I don't have to keep dealing with it. I doubt the seat's gonna come off with me sitting on it, so. As Dan the cameraman would say, it's fine. It's fine. It is fine though, Craig. It's like a new thing in our house at home. I'll be like, did you just Dan me? And Stacey's like, oh, it's fine. By now you may be wondering why I picked the Honda Helix for Craig. Well, for starters, I didn't know he would like it so much. I guess we now know that Craig is indeed a scooter man. And secondly, 
Even though this Honda was made in 2000 something, it first came out in the mid 80s and it was and then they never changed anything on it. My plan was to have two guys cruising on a road trip on 80s Hondas. Jerk face, your turn signal's on. Ah, just like a scooter guy. Also, I always made fun of those guys who rode their scooters with their buddies who rode real motorcycles. And it's just as hilarious as I thought. Like we have to really right. aggressively. We have to. <laughs> <laughs> There's something that you learn when you're riding is how to do the cool wave where you just throw your fingers out and the other guy, I set it up something like that and then I'm like, and we perfected it. <laughs> and then it's being cranky, you're like, hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> guys, I'm super excited about the big live session we've got going on this Monday at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We got some big, huge announcements and a lot of awesome, ginormous giveaways, some of them that have two wheels. And we're having a great time on the super secret text group. I've already given away two GoPros to random texters. And over this weekend, I'll be giving two more away. To join, just text ASCOT to 717-670-8555. That's ASCOT to 717-670-8555. To join the group and get notifications, updates, and ask questions. Oh, good. Is my hair all weird? Helmet's hurting. Yeah, dude, this thing's like smooth. Like butter. Wow, look at this clouds. This is big sky country, Craig. Yes, it is. When you travel to the country, you get to see some beautiful places and some amazing scenery and some really cool towns. Every once in a while, you see something that you didn't expect. Something so crazy that no one would believe you unless you got proof. Well, I got proof. And this is the moment that I saw the greatest sign I have ever seen. And honestly, it's so great that someone should write a book about this. Go for infestation. <laughs> what? Now, all this riding in beautiful weather and just amazing company reminds me of one of my favorite Bible verses, Matthew 7, 8. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. All right, so we're at our first stop. We just did 112 miles. I didn't run out. You, you didn't run out, I guess. I didn't run out, no. I was down the one bar. One, trying to figure out how far these will go on a tank. 112 miles was roughly two gallons. One three quarter gallons. So, 1.7 gallons. What is that? 112 times 1.7. 65 miles to a gallon, it's not bad. Not bad for the first 112 miles of the bike. On the lower speeds, you really feel a thing bump up and down because this is actually, their air belongs in here. See, some of these older bikes actually had, um, look, it's got a Schrader valve right up here. It's got a Schrader valve and you actually put air in the shocks to a certain PSI. And we didn't, we weren't able, we forgot to do that. So at the, it kind of bottoms out. Like at the lower speed, you just kind of feel like, like flopping around. But other than that, the bike's feeling good. I think it's safe to say nothing is going to go wrong on this trip. Nothing at all. Look what I got. I've never seen this ever. Mint chip chocolate milk. Mint chip milk. Fruit Loop flavored cereal milk. I had this idea a long time ago. It's a great idea. It is. It's genius. It was completely awful. Let's keep on rolling. So it's like a horse trailer. Yeah, yeah, a horse trailer. Okay. And they had those wing doors open there in the back. Yeah. And something spooked the horse or scared, whatever. And it jumped out of the trailer. No. Like through that door. No. Yeah. On the yeah. highway? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember if it was on the highway or what. She told me the story. Um, I actually sold her the trailer. Well, the farm she worked for, I sold them the trailer. It was a girl I went to high school with. And yeah, she said the, the, the one mare 
ended up, it, it ejected itself out of the trailer. Did it die? No, I don't think so. That's amazing. So, one of the things, I, I guess when they did it in box stalls like that, they always, you know, they left the horses loose, they didn't have them tied at all. Uh-huh. So luckily it like didn't like jump out and get drugged or something. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, dude. We had a friend that their uh, their daughter had a horse or a pony or some large animal like that. Maybe it was a humongous dog, but um, it died. And it, for, I don't know how it happened. No, it maybe it got hit by a car or something like that in the middle of the road, in front of their house. And they they didn't they didn't know they had no other way to move it out of the road. So the dad cut it in half with a chainsaw. <laughs> which is, which I'm pretty sure was pretty traumatizing for the daughter, whose, whose it was her pony. Oh my gosh! It was during this story swapping that I still noticed my shimmy in the handlebars. We were gonna have to stop somewhere and see if we could try to fix the problem. Hopefully this shimmy does not get dangerous. All right, so we're hoping we can use this to fill the, the shocks. I don't know if that's gonna work, but she has free air, so. Four pounds, how, how uh, put nine. Does it feel any stiffer? I, mean, I could bottom it out just by pushing it as hard as I can. Oh, 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 there we go, we got one. You got one pound in there. Okay, that's good. Better than no pounds. Oh, no, crap, no, now no. we're back to no pounds. We're back to no pounds. I don't think we're gonna... Let's try the other one. Yeah, I agree. I say it's three pounds. No. Look, look, see, see, it goes up. Yeah, but it, it, like that, that's what shows what's in there. So we, we know what's. Oh, the... there's three. Hold it. I don't know. I don't know if we made it better or worse. How many more miles we got? Hundred thirty more miles. Yeah! So we're about to get on the road. We just got some food. Let's just uh, let's just do a quick little inspection of this bike to make sure all the things we modified and are still good, like like the brake calipers. I still like, the taped on master uh, cylinder reservoir. Taped on master cylinder. It looks it's holding pretty good. Yeah. Okay. None of this is falling off yet. This is still good and tight. Axle pinch bolts, turn signals. Yeah, nothing's leaking on this side. It's just that side. Getting a little bit of gunk in the inline fuel filter. Are we? You see this I want to see it. That's a good sign. I like that. See on the very top. Petcock stopped leaking. That's good. Yeah, this stopped leaking. That's good. Grab that rear axle bolt. Just make sure that's... As we rode the last leg on our trip home, I realized that this video needs some 80s music right now. my entire life running away from the 80s. The awful hairdos, the horrible style, and those awful mom jeans, all of which are coming back to haunt me right now. But maybe the 80s weren't that bad because they brought us some of the greatest things in life, like ALF and the mixtape from Guardians of the Galaxy and this Honda Ascot motorcycle that I've never heard of until I bought it, but now I love. And this little motorcycle helped us accomplish this. 
Nice. 325 miles exactly. We did it. These little ladies bikes made it home. No problem. It's kind of what you would expect for a brand new uh, 40 year old Honda. But we'll see you guys next time. Subscribe.